Hi, my name is Alan McGinley, an ecosystem architect here at Venify. This demo attempts to answer a question that you may encounter in the enterprise, specifically if you're using AWS with OpenShift, Nginx Ingress and Cert Manager, what are the minimum steps required to secure a public facing workload? Your goal here is to enforce secure TLS communication between any browser on the internet and a single containerized workload running in an OpenShift cluster hosted on AWS. In this scenario, your browser will expect HTTPS, which implies TLS, but your workload only supports HTTP. We can implement a reverse proxy solution by positioning an Nginx instance between an internet-facing load balancer and the HTTP workload. The Nginx instance can then be loaded with publicly trusted X509 certificates, making it responsible for TLS termination. To clarify, this means traffic touching the internet is HTTPS, whilst traffic touching the workload is plain old HTTP. Instead of having to edit Nginx routing configuration files by hand, Nginx ingress controllers do this for you by reacting to the presence of Kubernetes ingress objects. Those objects can reference certificates stored as TLS secrets in Kubernetes. On their own, ingress controllers are unable to create or renew these certificates. That's where Cert Manager and Let's Encrypt come in. For this demo, you can clone this repo that you see on screen now, or just follow along with me. We start by checking connectivity to an existing cluster. We have that. Now we're going to introduce the operator hub. The operator hub is a web console interface that OpenShift administrators use to enable extended capabilities. Some operator hub sources may not be available by default, so run this patch command to ensure that your library is fully stocked. We can remind ourselves of the location of the console by extracting it from the cluster like this. Now we're going to head over to the operator hub where we can install Nginx. Go to operator hub, search for Nginx and install. Now while we're waiting for that to install we can set up a watch window to see those workloads arriving and they're running now. When installing Nginx Ingress via the Operator Hub, you do not immediately get an Ingress Controller instance, just the means to deploy one. OpenShift employs a strict security posture, which by default would prevent you from completing the deployment. The commands you see on the screen will address this restriction. You can now successfully deploy your Nginx Ingress Controller instance. So go to the Operator Hub, and we're going to click this link here, Provided APIs and create Nginx Ingress. In this manifest here, we're going to remove line 31 and create. Note, in the interests of simplicity, these instructions omit the pre-provision of the default server secret, instead choosing to focus on securing specific routes. Your previous watch command will reveal additional workloads and services as your instance comes online you will observe your new service object is of type load balancer and the external IP indicates what that is. After two to three minutes, the load balancer will begin returning 404 not found responses. This is the expected response since no ingress rules have been applied to Nginx yet. Wait for a response from the load balancer before continuing. The next task is to associate that load balancer with a domain name. Head over to Route 53 to create your new DNS record in the hosted zone. Once the DNS record has propagated, the new endpoint will also respond with a familiar 404 status page from Nginx. Wait for this to happen before continuing. The following diagram illustrates your progress towards the goal of this exercise. Heading back to Operator Hub now, we're going to install Cert Manager. Install. Install. 
The Operator Hub install of CERT Manager does not require any patching and automatically deploys the required workloads. You can set up a watch window to see the CERT Manager workloads being deployed. You could also see the API resources that have been deployed with CERT Manager, like this. CERT Manager is unable to oversee the creation of any certificates until you have at least one issuer in place. The simplest way to create the public trusted certificates you require is via Let's Encrypt. We need something to route our traffic to, so let's deploy an app. One major difference between opinionated platforms like OpenShift and regular Kubernetes is the way they handle container images. Kubernetes insists upon consuming ready-made container images, whereas OpenShift typically builds container images directly from source as part of its deployment process. You can use the OC status command to check the progress of your application. This one is now running. The following updated diagram illustrates your progress towards the goal of this exercise. Your next and final step is to introduce an ingress object. The ingress object links together Nginx and CERT Manager. So if you take a look at the manifest here, you can see the link through to the issuer and also the link through to Nginx. You can observe your ingress object as follows. Note that this supports traffic on 443. Your ELB will now securely route all traffic via HTTPS to your demo workload. At this point, you can navigate to the URL in any browser and you will see padlock icons without warnings. Note that the workload received HTTP, but this has a padlock. If I click through, I can see that the certificate is Let's Encrypt and it's valid for this period. So what just happened? CERT Manager is aware of annotated ingress objects. It deduced from your ingress object that traffic to OpenShift test is intended to be secured by Let's Encrypt, so it silently created a CERT Manager certificate object to represent that requirement. You can see the certificate here and its associated secret. You can also use OpenSSL to see the secret material in its more natural form. With the TLS secret now in place, the controller instance can rewrite the Nginx config file and signal to Nginx to reload, securely activating the route to your workload. So now you know about CERT Manager, what comes next? Venify TLS Protect for Kubernetes includes an enterprise hardened version of CERT Manager and the capabilities needed to enable effective machine identity management for OpenShift and Kubernetes clusters in the enterprise. So look out for more demos like this revealing how effective machine identity management can accelerate your cloud native development and prevent application outages or security breaches. Thank you very much. Thank you.